Hey guys, Hanunt here, coming at you once again with more randomised crystal. On the last episode, we made our way south of Blackthorn, Blackthorn City onto Route 45, and we also managed to get our encounter for Tin Tower, which was Suicune, of course. Um, off screen, I of course done some. I have, I have of course done some training for um, Homer, our new fancy. Uh, well, it was a ghastly, but now it is a haunter. Um, Shadow Ball me look confused Ray Nightshade so far. It, as you would have seen from part 22A if you watched it or even saw the length of it, it was quite lengthy. <laughs> um, he took a long time to level up because of just the fact that he only had physical moves to really use. <laughs> um, and Nightshade wasn't particularly great either. Oh, actually, I just realised I saved in front of Tojo Falls because that's where we've got to go. Um, but I didn't actually teach Waterfall to anything. I think... I think that I can teach it to Joanne, I hope. If I can, then I'll just replace Bubble Beam and it'll just give her an extra attack she can use. Pretty much the same. Yeah, she can. Good. Nice. Of course, Waterfall in this generation is special, as it is a Water-type move. Um, so we're going to get rid of Bubble Beam, because Waterfall actually has more power, so it will pretty much do the same thing. Um, but before we move on, I am actually going to go ahead and fight a Starmie in here, provided I can find one, as that will get me up to level 37. Oh, there's a Hitmon top. I don't think a Hitmon top will get me up enough experience here, so I need to find myself a Starmie. Where be the Starmie in here? Once I find a Starmie, then um, Homer will grow up to level 37. At which point you will evolve into Gengar. There's a Starmie now. Very nice. But yeah, cause, uh, Ghastly and Haunter, despite actually generating arms, do not... Um, well, Haunter especially has arms. <laughs> um, can't learn the punch moves. Uh, which kind of sucks. Gengar can, so that's something. But yes. I think maybe for like the second time this LP, we're actually getting an evolution. I think... Orion is the only one who's been evolving. That's basically it. But we got an awesome Gengar. I love Gengar so much in this game. I love Gengar normally, but I just love Gengar. Um, I also picked up a copy of every single TM move, uh, punch move rather, for um, for his ghostness. Um, now I'm going to teach all of them because I don't really feel that any status moves are necessary for him because obviously he's exceptionally frail. Um, plus also Orion and Trisha both have status moves, also uh, Joanne does as well. I just don't think it's necessary. So I'm actually going to get rid of all of these moves that aren't Shadow Ball. Because Shadow Ball is actually going to be quite good. I did some damage calculations for some certain things and um, Shadow Ball is going to be better against most psychic types in this in this game um, so and also in case I for some reason happen to chance upon a Mr. Reavis as well um, so yeah I think that he is going to be the best option here he's going to be the best option so we're going to teach all of the punch moves ice was the one that I needed the most also uh, thunder punch was good as well but so I'm going to teach fire punch just because as I said, he doesn't really need um, he doesn't really need Confuse Ray, which would probably be the only move I would be likely to give him right now. Um, and in addition to that, he doesn't really learn anything other than that that's going to be particularly useful. He learns like Thunder and Psychic, which is basically it. Um, Psychic could be useful, but not necessary. So I'm just not not going to bother with it, especially considering the fact that it's a only a TM move. And I would much rather give Psychic to something that's actually going to use it. Like a stab move or something. Um, we may as well get the TM for Sandstorm, which is in here. Just because why not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Trust, trust, trust. Oh, do you not give Sandstorm? I thought she gave Sandstorm. But hello. It's rare to see anyone come out here. Are you training on your own? Yes, I am. Now, I remember you having an Umbreon in the uh, old games, I think. But what have you got in this game? You've got a Shelder! That's fine. Ooh, level jump. Nice. Liking that. Alright, let's go ahead and use Thunder Punch. 
Homer is obviously the only one who isn't level 38 right now, so he will be going up uh, before anyone else. What else have you got? You got a Krabby. You had another Thunder Punch bait thing here. Very nice. Uh, and then uh, hopefully you got something nice and easy for Homer last as well. Preferably nothing that's a normal type. Ghastly. <laughs> okay, well, fine. Hey, look, Homer, it's your daughter, I guess. I guess. I would say it's Lisa, but Lisa's a parasect, so. Yeah, no. Anyway, awesome. So that's Megan defeated. You completely wiped the floor with her, Homer. Nice one. Right, moving on. So I think pretty much the same Pokemon are going to be here as on route. Actually, what route are we on? That's probably a good question. Where are we right now? Oh, I can actually fly to Newbark Town from here. I didn't know that. Where are we? Can we find out where we are? I don't even know. I think we're still on Route 27. I'm going to go check, because if I don't, then I'm probably going to end up getting an encounter when I didn't mean to. Yeah, we're still on Route 27. Okay, fine. So, we won't be catching anything here. But, as we mentioned before, there was stuff in the grass here, so... Our encounter for Route 27 was Lapras, um, but we'll be able to see what we could have possibly caught in the grass here, so... It'll be interesting. It'll be interesting to see what's available. You look pretty strong. Let me battle you. I'm down for it. Excuse you. Um, let's see what you got. Let's see what you got, Blake. You got a bell sprout. Well, that's certainly scary. <sighs> Come on. Give me a challenge. I mean, admittedly, I think it's probably... You're probably more likely to have a challenge in like earlier games rather than later games because you've actually got access to more um, more um, like harder Pokemon in this because you've got less low level like less first stage Pokemon that's that's what I was looking for I think that was our first encounter of Nido Queens so that's fancy up to level 38 well done Homer oh my lord look at those stats and that attack is, I think, is actually higher than Orion's. <laughs> and a Weezing to finish things off. I'm going to actually stay in, just because in case it wants to use its blue Weezing. Because Homer is completely immune to that, so it doesn't actually matter what move I go for here. So let's just go for Thunder Punch, I guess. Sludge. Annoyingly, that can't poison me, but it's not going to do anything as I quad resist it. Very nice. I'm actually going to keep Homer up front for now, I think. Just because he is nice and super zippy. Awesome. Yow. Yeah, that's right. That is right. Alright, let's see what see what else. What Pokemon could have been found here in the grass? Gotta be something. So we'll do a few encounters, just because I like to know exactly what I could have possibly caught. A Charmeleon. Well, that would have been Dupes Claws. Ah, uh, Charmeleon. You've never had a chance to even get off the ground. literally died in your first fight. Because your first fight was against a freaking Lugia. It's like, yeah, great. Woohoo. Oh dear. What else have you got? A Miss Dreavus? That would have been fun. That would have been fun. I like Miss Dreavus. I like Miss Dreavus a lot. Of course, it wouldn't have been that great, bearing in mind the fact that I wouldn't have had many moves to give it. A Nido Queen, very nice. I actually saw Nido King uh, on Route um, 34. I think it was 34. It's pretty good. We'll do one more encounter. I think there is a wider variety of Pokémon you can catch on this route, so we'll see if we can find something else. There's another Nido Queen. I like Nido Queen. Obviously, it's not as good as Nido King until Gen 5, but even then, like, it's pretty damn good. I like, I like Nido Queen. I like both of them. Hello. Hmm. You're good, aren't you? Yes. Yes, I am. 
And careful, because my Gengar will wipe the floor with you if you don't uh, move out of my way. We've got a Totodile. Which probably should be a Feraligator. Uh, one level off. Should be a Croconaw at least. You're not giving me a challenge here, are you? I ask for a challenge and you throw it back in my face. Get rid of little dino face there. Right. Just as I thought. Yeah, that's right. That is right. Hey! You over there. Don't say a thing. Let me guess what you're thinking. Hmm. I got it. You're on the Pokemon League challenge. Wow. You're a psychic, aren't you? Yes, you are. <laughs> yes, you are. You got a bay leaf. Man, we have seen a lot of the Chikorita line throughout this uh, LP. A lot of it. I'm not complaining because I kind of like the Chikorita line. I, I never used to like it at all, but I've since uh, liked it a little bit more. It's 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 warming. It's nice. I like it. We've got a Pidgeotto, which is something I can actually take down now. Oh, actually, I didn't mean to go for that, but. It'll do the job. Still took it down. And lastly, you have... A Suicune. Okay. Um, I mean, I think we can stay in. The best it's going to have is Bubble Beam. I think this is our first encounter with the Legend... No, we have seen Entei before, actually. I don't think we've seen a Raikou still yet. And I've seen now we've seen Suicune as well, so we still haven't seen Raikou and Zapdos. I think they're the only two legendaries we haven't seen yet. I think they are the only two. I really hope we see some legendaries in the Elite Four, because I would actually like to get some challenges. Like, please, <laughs> I really want some challenges. Dream Meter, Dream Meter would be a good move if you didn't have anything else. <laughs> Because it is a good move. Pretty high power, and you obviously learn Hypnosis as well. Right, I'm going to put Joe up front. Although, actually, I don't think you came packed with Hypnosis, so I probably wouldn't have, I wouldn't have been able to teach you it anyway. You shouldn't underestimate the wild Pokemon in these parts. Oh, I'm not. There was Nidoqueen, there was Miss Dreavus. There was something else, which I can't remember, actually. <laughs> but, but they were good stuff, it was good stuff. Got a Ditto. Well, I mean, I guess that's okay. Let's submit it before it decides it wants to transform. I almost said Mega Revolve then, I don't really know why. I like submission because you don't actually take very much recoil from it. You still take recoil, but you don't take a huge amount. You've got a Machoke. That's fine. I think we've only seen one Machamp so far. I think that was only in the wild. I think. Was it the world? I don't even remember. I literally don't even remember, but we have seen Machoke and we even have one. See Machoke wild on two routes. Um, yeah. Haven't really seen it. I've seen quite a lot of them. We've seen quite a lot of Machoke, not really much of the either, other two, really. I ain't got an Apom. I still kind of want to use an Apom. <laughs> Just because of the fact that it's, I don't know, I like Apom. And also in this generation it looks really cool. Like that colour purple is like amazing. Kind of almost matches, matches my layout. Right. Well that's Rena defeated. Oh, you're much too strong. Yes, that is true. Deal with it. Okay, so now we're on Route 26. I want to go to the grass because that's gonna, probably going to be my best... Well, well actually no. In, an, in a randomizer, it really doesn't matter where you go for encounters. But there is grass on this route, so I'm going to go to it. Alright, Scott, what have you got? You've got a pseudo wudo. Maybe our first encounter of that? Not in the wild, of course. I don't know, I don't remember. Anyway, let's submit it. Or are we saying that we submit? I don't remember. I don't know how it works. And that should get us to level 39. Very fancy. Nice. What else? We've got a Pikachu. 
maybe our first encounter of that. I don't remember seeing a Pikachu anywhere else. Hello, Pikachu. I still need to teach something Earthquake, and I don't really know what. Because, funnily enough, um, Trisha can't learn it in Gen 2. Can't learn Earthquake. Can't learn Dig either. So, actually, it might be able to learn Dig, I don't remember. But, uh, yeah, it's kind of interesting, the fact that it, doesn't, it just doesn't learn it at all. And a Smeargle. Probably only going to have Sketch, I would imagine. So me giving it return is probably not going to be the best idea, but it just dies anyway. And Orion also grows to level 39. Very nice. Yeah, that's actually kind of funny, the fact that uh, Homer's physical attack is actually stronger than Orion's, but you know. It doesn't matter. Orion is there just because she's awesome, and I love her. And she's a shiny, of course. Who wouldn't want a shiny Clefable in their crystal playthrough? Come on. Alright, so here's the grass. So let's go ahead and get our first encounter. Which for, le which for Route 26 is Sunflora, which is Dupes Claws, of course. Because I have my awesome Teresa with me. She's doing very well for herself. First encounter, possibly, is... Nine Tails. that's also Dupes Claws. <laughs> okay. Very interesting. Very interesting. What else? What else we got? Must have something else. Actually, I should probably be leading with Trisha right now, but it's not a huge problem. A Slugma. Okay. It's not the worst encounter in the world. It's fine. I'll deal with this. Okay. Um. Well, I've never used one of these before, and to be honest, I barely even know it existed in Gen 2. Um, let's go into... Drisha, I think. But hey, at least it's a fire type that can't learn raw, which is very nice. Of course, I do wish this thing was a hound hour, but you know. Still, let's go ahead and thunder wave it. It's been a long cup. Wow, that looks really cool. Those two inverted colours with uh, having red eyes and a yellow body. Looked interesting. Been a lot of fire types on this uh, in this area. It's all Charmeleon on Route 27. Nine Tails and Slugma here. And it's pretty much at the level we'll evolve into Mad Cargo anyway, so. Alright, so we got a Slugma and we got a. Possibly could evolve it. I don't know. I don't know whether I'm going to use this thing. Certainly not right now, but possibly in the future. Okay, so what can we call you? Let's call you. Hmm. I don't know. Hmm. Don't really have many female names on here. Let's call you, um, Ol uh, no, I was reading the name above it. Let's call you Connie, after Connie D'Amico in uh, uh, Family Guy. Why not? Right, well, awesome. Oh, Dana, what do you want? Your spinner rack is getting prettier. Hmm. Prettier. I don't know if that's a word I would use, but, you know... <laughs> Let's do two more encounters. Let's see what we could have possibly caught here otherwise. Another nine tails. Interesting. Let's see what else. We'll do one more encounter and see if there's anything. Anything else we could have possibly caught here that would have been of any interest. And I swear to God, if it's anything from the Hound Hour line, I will kill Slugma. Probably. Another nine tails. Okay, well, we'll move on then. I'm not going to be putting any repels up, so we might possibly end up getting something cooler. Find seeing something cooler, who knows. I mean, you know, Ninetales is cool at the best of times, but... Still, wow, look at all those badges, I'm impressed. But you're not satisfied by just collecting them, right? No. I want to look at them as well. And I want to use them to go places, which is what I'm, which is precisely what I'm doing at the moment. Got a Magby. That's pretty much one of the only fire type lines at the moment that I haven't already caught. I think it's literally just Magby and Hound Arrow at this point. Because I literally... I can't think of any other fire type line that I haven't already caught. Slash, it's already died. <laughs> pretty much all of our deaths are from fire types. Actually, half of them. Half of them are from fire types dying. 
Can I get an item around here? I don't even remember where I just went. Apparently not then. Fine. It's literally just a way back. Fine, well I'll just go back here then. Well, actually, let's see what could have possibly been found in the water. It's interesting that we get dupe scores twice on two different Pokemon, though. Well, through two different Pokemon rather than we got it twice. Um, that's interesting, though. I mean, it is getting to the, uh, the, a stage in the game now where dupe's claws is very likely. Especially, it's going to be likely in Kanto. A drowsy. Well, that would have been dupe's claws. That would have been dupe's claws. We'll do two more encounters. We'll do a nice round three. And then we'll move on. I'd just like to see what else is buzzing around. Just know what I could have missed out on. And most of the time I usually end up missing out on stuff that's good. <laughs> I usually end up getting the worst encounter in the room. Except for in, uh... A scissor? Yeah. That would have been amazing. <laughs> but it's Duke's Claws. <laughs> we already do have one. Well, we have a Scyther anyway. Actually, I found out that Scyther doesn't actually need a metal coat to evolve. It actually evolves at level 30. <laughs> I didn't know that. I thought you actually had to, with the, like the uh, item evolutions, I thought you had to use the item on the Pokemon to evolve it, but you actually don't. I think maybe when we get... Um... Oops. I think maybe when we get uh... the TM for Steel Wing, which I think we can actually get in this game, um, I think, I might actually use Scizor, possibly. Because I like Scizor a lot. I mean, I prefer Scyther, and I might would probably prefer to keep Scyther just because of the fact that I think Bug Flying tends to have slightly better coverage than Bug Steel, but, yeah, no. Alright, awesome. Is there an item over here? Oh, oh yeah, I think I might know where, I'm, where this goes. I think I know where this might go. Hmm, seems Slugma's quite rare. I've only seen one. As opposed to what? Two Sunflores and three Nine Tails is? It's the plural of Nine Tails, Nine Tails is. Probably not. <laughs> a Parasect? That would have also been Dupe's Claws. Interesting. This route is Dupe's Claws Heaven. And lucky we got Slugma. I mean, Slugma is hardly the worst Pokemon in the world, but it's hardly the best either. <laughs> Has to be said. Oh, yeah, this is to do with the. Um, where all the, 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 the people are. You know, the people who, like, give you items. Like, Monica of Monday, and Tuscany of Tuesday, and what have you. A Weedle. Okay, well, you know, to be honest, I think I'm happy with the Slugma. <laughs> I mean, I like Beedrill, don't get me wrong, but actually Beedrill would have actually probably been quite good. But we don't have anything from the Beedrill line just yet. Ooh, a rest house. I remember you're a rest house. Yes, I would like to rest my Pokemon. And then I want to run away. And then we have a trainer. Hey! Since you've come this far, you must be good. I'm going to give this battle everything I've got. Well, good, because I wouldn't expect you to do anything less. As you're a cool trainer, you know. Joyce. With a Pidgeot. We've seen a Quite a few of these recently. That's fine. I'm happy with Pidgeot. I like Pidgeot quite a lot. And we're going to surf it away. Although it'll definitely live. It's fine. Wing attack. That will actually do a fair amount of damage, I think. Well, okay. Or not. I underestimate the power of Joanne. And her bulk. But to be honest, I have massively underestimated just how good she has been. Seriously, she has been amazing through this LP. I think, to be honest, if I'd found her at a different point in the LP, I probably wouldn't have used her. But just because of the fact that she po popped out at that time in episode 3, I think? That she has really been amazing. Absolutely amazing. And so, I'm very, very much happy with, with what she's done and how far she's come. I just hope she continues and goes until the end, because I really, really, really like Joanne. Her and Joe, as good as, you know, they're not particularly great, bearing in mind the fact that they don't... Joanne isn't particularly powerful, and Joe doesn't really have any good moves. 
Um, they're amazing Pokemon to have around. And frankly, normal water has very, very good coverage together. And even without a stab move, Joe is still extremely strong, so... Cannot complain, they have both done exceptionally well for, the, for each other. I probably shouldn't have done that, I probably should have just gone into the rest house, but... Whatever. <laughs> move on here. Hey! You over there. By experiencing tough battles, you gain power. Yes, that's very true. Well done for pointing that one out. Alright, Gavin, what have you got? You've got a Charmeleon. Well, that's nice, because I've got Joanne up front, and she can deal with that. She has no problems dealing with that. No problems at all. Do you know what's going to scar Charmeleon for life? Is the fact that if you look at Charmeleon's body, the white on it completely matches the white of the background, so it just looks like Charmeleon's just missing its torso. <laughs> go, go, feel free to go back and pause that and find out exactly for yourself. And then, uh, ooh, ooh, okay, oh, oh, oh dear. Oh dear. Got an Ampharos. This is our first time of seeing Ampharos in the game. Unfortunately. <sighs> Damn Mo, dying on me. I miss you, Mo. Because you would have been an amazing Pokemon, you really would have. Well, even though you didn't learn Ice Punch, which is really annoying. Oh god. It's kind of nice, but also kind of annoying, the fact that things like Thunder Wave um, can miss in this generation. Well, not miss, but like, not work properly. And a Kadabra. Well, I think we're going to go into Joanne for this one to finish it off. But, uh, yeah, I, d I don't know. It would have been... It would have been good to have Mo. I think our team would have looked very different with Mo. Because we wouldn't, ha we probably wouldn't have Teresa right now. Because, to be honest, if I'd have been able to foretell the rest of our team for the entire LP, as in, like, until this point, I probably would have used Teresa a lot earlier. But I also think at the same time that I got her at a time which really made sense because, as in like used her, because it meant that she had access to Razor Leaf, uh, well not Razor Leaf, Petal Dance, which is like amazing. Plus also she would, she also had the Hidden Power TM, which meant that she had even more power because she has the coverage to beat through things like Steel Types and Bug Types, so. It's nice, I like her. She's, she's really doing well for herself. I just wish that she had a bit more bulk because of how slow she is. Another pseudo wudo. Well, I outspeed this thing, so it's not going to be hitting me with a rock slide anytime soon. Uh, although we don't have very much to uh, hit this thing with. But it's fine. It's a solid 2 hit KO. Really don't think that's going to be KOing me. Trisha has a bit too much bulk for that. Because Trisha is pretty damn bulky. Pretty damn bulky, and Pseudo Widow isn't particularly strong. And also, you have a Lavatar. I am pretty much walled by this thing, to be quite honest. <laughs> um, so I'm actually going to switch right here. I'm going to go into Joanne. Because that's a Pokemon who actually completely resists all of my moves. Really could actually do with a water type move right about now. To be quite honest, I really am thinking of taking off Fire Punch on, um, uh, Trisha and replacing it with Surf, because I think that she would, be, she would be very good with it. You blew it. Yes, you did, Jake. Yes, you did blow it. What a shame. What a shame. Alright, we've got one more trainer before the, uh, Victory Road, which we will actually be going through in this, in this, uh, episode, just because of the fact that there's nothing in there. Because um, there's only going to be one fight, and it's going to be a tough one, but we're going to go for it. Now, I remember this trainer. She used to have a rapid ash. I wonder what she's going to have now. Trisha's up front. That's fine. I lost to a trainer named Chicken. He was really strong, but it was as if he absolutely had to win at any cost. I felt sorry for his Pokemon. They are... I, I can see where you might get that from. I can totally see it. Alright, Beth. You've got a Moltres. 
Well, I guess that's an appropriate finish before the Elite Four as a normal trainer. The very last normal trainer before the Elite Four has a Moltres. <laughs> Makes perfect sense, I think. Fire spin, great. God, how I hate that move. It's kind of interesting the fact that Moltres has pretty much always been, like, one of the worst birds until Gen 3. Because even in Gen 2, Articuno still had more use than Moltres. It was kind of interesting, really. Well, even frankly, Articuno had pretty good use in Gen 3 as well. It was just, in, it was basically just until uh, Thingy came along. Uh, Stealth Rock. Because then Moltres still had some power, so that's what pretty much put it ahead of uh, Articuno. Oh, I wish I could go to Mount Silver right now, then I'd have good Pokemon to train against. Anyway, so here we are in Victory Road! So of course we're going to have an encounter here. Um, right, well, speaking of encounters, our first encounter for the Victory Road is Scyther, which is Dupes Claws. Man, I hope we get something good. <laughs> I really hope we get something good. Because this, this is our last encounter before the Elite Four. I think there's an item on this rock. Full heal! Always welcome item to have. Because I very much like those. Right. Don't remember which way to go. I think this is the wrong way to go. Next possible first encounter is... Granbull. Interesting. Whoa, level 38. Damn. Okay, well this is not the worst encounter in the world, because this thing with a return would hit very hard. Unfortunately, it does not get Intimidate in this game, um, which would have made it a lot better. Um, I'm actually going to go into Joe right now, just to whittle this thing down a little bit. That's a pretty, pretty solid encounter there. Um, you know, it's not the worst in the world. We haven't actually had that many good normal types in this um, LP, except Cleffer. Um, but apart from that, we really haven't had very much, and Gramble is respectable. Gramble is respectable. And if I wanted to see something Earthquake, Gramble is my go-to guy, really. Um, yeah, fine. Not too shabby at all. And we actually have a perfect name for this thing as well. Right, let's try and catch this thing. I'm, I'm happy with this encounter. I'm not going to use it straight away. But you know what? It's not something that I will ever not go... Well, I'm not going to use that. Because it's a pretty solid encounter. Pretty damn solid. Very, very nice. Granbull. It's a shame that the punch moves are physical, uh, special in this game, or else it would be really good. <laughs> and I probably would use it straight away. Alright, we're going to call this one Brian. Pretty much suits it perfectly. Even though Brian, uh, Granbull's a little bit aggressive for that. Oh, is that the right way? Actually, no, I don't think it is. Say there. Man, I love Scyther. I'm glad we got uh, an encounter that was such a massively high level, because that Scyther is level 34, but Gravel is level 38, which is very nice. I'm trying to work out which is the wrong way to go here, so I get all the items and such. Because I know that you can get the TM for Earthquake in here, and I need it. <laughs> right, so there's Kabuto in here, which would have also been Dupes Claws. And I tell you, I really, really, I really do want to use Kabutops, but it's just not that great. And a Haunter, also Dupes Claws. Hey, I'm not complaining about our encounter at all. That was a pretty damn good encounter. And to be honest, compared to the others in here so far, except Haunter, um, very, very nice encounter to get. Very, very nice. Because it has a, a huge amount of power, and it's not actually that slow. It's only a little bit slower than uh, Clefable. It doesn't have that great of bulk, but to be honest, fighting type moves aren't particularly common in this game. They didn't really get common until Gen 4. Well, they were relatively common in Gen 3, I guess. Just because of how common Focus Punch was. And a Tyro, that would have been interesting. Had quite a few chances of getting Tyro. Or at least one of its evolutionary line. I think I'm going the right way, aren't I? I don't want to go the right way. I want to go the wrong way, just so that I can get all the items. Another Kabuto. That's fine. 
let's go ahead and go backwards just so that we find out what was on the other... Well, actually, no, we'll just keep going and then... Because I really can't remember... Yeah, this is the right way because that's the end. <laughs> that's the end. Another Haunter. But yeah, man, that Gramble not only seems to be quite rare in here, but also is a very high level. Very nice, very nice. Another Scyther. Scyther seems to be the most common thing in here. I think, to be honest, I am going to go backwards and find out exactly everything before I go left, because I don't remember where you actually have to go to... Um, for you to have to fight the rival. Because I don't want to go too far too far and then have to fight him before I get done with Victory Road, because I want him to be the last part of this episode. I want him to be the last part. I'm going all over the place at the moment. A full restore, I can do without that. There's no point in me getting rid of items just for that. Okay, so we, we are going the right way. So, let's go ahead and go backwards. We do want that CM for Earthquake. Although I think that you get Earthquake further up, actually. It looks like those are the only Pokemon you can find in here. Tyro, Kabuto, Scyther, Haunter, and Granbull. But I'm happy with Granbull. I'm not going to complain. Because base 125 attack is pretty much doing what Joe's doing. And to be quite honest, as much as I don't want to say this, I think that... Um, Brian would be better than Joe in terms of usage just because of the fact that he's only got normal and fighting and I think that Joe uh, Brian would be able to get a lot more stuff and he would be able to learn Earthquake which is a move I do really need right now because I haven't taught anything Dig yet and I think I might consider teaching something Dig got a full heal I think Joe could do with Dig, but the only problem with giving it to Joe is the fact that it doesn't really match up with his coverage very well. Ground and Fighting do not go together, because they pretty much cover the exact same things, with Ground just also being able to cover Electric as well. Because think about it, Ground covers Steel, which Fighting also does. Rock, uh, uh, fighting also covers Rock, which Ground also does. Um, Fighting covers ice, which is hard, which is basically a non-issue. Let's face it, because um, I've got so many things to do with ice types. Um, so I think basically they cover the same types, except ice is like exchanged for electric. And at the moment, I've got nothing to take down electric types. I basically have to just KO them with brute force because I've got nothing better going on. Nothing better as ground is there any weakness? So yeah. I don't really think I can't really think of anything else that I could teach Dig to. But I should be careful I should be very, very careful with who I teach Earthquake to, because obviously if I teach Earthquake to anything, I wanna keep it. I wanna keep it because obviously Earthquake is a very good move. Very, very good move. And I don't want to be giving it willy nilly to something that will end up dying. I say that and then I give Hidden Power to Teresa, but at the same time, like, Teresa needs the coverage and didn't really have any other moves to fit in there. If she'd have had Sleep Powder, or even Stun Spore, I probably would have given it to her and then just taken out the Hidden Power, because she wouldn't have needed it. Because then I'd have just given her Petal Dance and then... I've got Absorb on there at the moment, but I'm going to give her Giga Drain. If she's still alive by the time that time comes. Which she should be. She should be. I don't expect her to die in that amount of time. Do you know what? I'm actually going to put a repel on because we've seen all the encounters in here. As if I have a repel, of course. We have a max repel. That'll do. But yeah, so we've been through all those encounters and we've only seen one Granbull. Kind of interesting. Right, I want to see if I can. I want to see if I can walk along here without getting caught, because I would actually like to go ahead and, um, I'd actually like to go ahead and get Earthquake before I finish in here. I think Joanne's got enough HP right now. 
Oh good, I can go this way. Nice. Oh. Oh, I think I just have to drop through. That's the ticket. And TM26 for Earthquake. Very nice. Oh. Oh. What the hell? There's a Sun Flora in here as well. Level 40? Damn. Well, that thing's pretty rare then. And a Max Potion as well. Uh, does that take me anywhere? I think that's just taking me... Oh, that's just taking me back. I need to go the other way. Another Sun Flora seems to be like the, the go-to Pokemon in here if you want something that's strong. Because Sun Flora doesn't see, actually seem to be that rare in here. I'm certainly wasn't counting one before, though. Right. Well, let's move on out. And hopefully we can get to the end of the uh, road before... Yeah, before the repel runs out is what I was going to say. Alright, I wonder what he's going to lead with. I think Trisha is a very good lead right now. Uh-oh. Hold it! Are you going to take the Pokemon League challenge? Don't make me laugh. You're so much weaker than I am. I'm not like I was before. I now have the best and strongest Pokemon with me. I'm invincible. Peter, I challenge you. So here we go again. Another chicken fight. Let's see if we can actually... Let's see what he has. Hopefully some good Pokemon. A Smeagol, I guess, that's, you know, that's, that's right. It's respectable. I can deal with this thing. Let's go ahead and fly on out of here. It sketches while you're um, flying. That's interesting. That's interesting. Didn't know it did that. Anyway, down it goes. What else you got? You got a cinder quill. <laughs> right. Okay. Can you have some good Pokemon, by the way? Just saying. Admittedly, I think your starter will be level 40, and as I've mentioned before, I'm going to have some trouble taking it down, but... Still. Although, actually, we do have something to take it down this time. I've had trouble before, but I'm not going to have any trouble this time. Because this is our first fight since then. First fight since uh, we got Teresa, and Teresa is our way to go with this lantern here. Level 38? Well, I thought it was 40, but... I guess I'll deal with it. Spark. That's not going to do very much to Trisha. Uh, Teresa, I'm afraid. That's a critical hit. Took that pretty damn well there, Teresa. Well done. I don't think that'll take it down. But it'll be a very solid two hit KO. Sparking again. I don't care. I really don't care. Oh, well, I care if you do that. But we're going to take it down anyway. Nice one, Teresa. Nice one. And down it goes. Ah, almost level 40. And I'm a choke. Very nice. Okay, well, we're going to go into Homer for this one, I think. Homer, Homer, Homer. Oh, I didn't mean to use Shadow Ball. That'll do. <laughs> didn't mean to use Shadow Ball, but, you know. Oh, Foresight. Alright, fair enough. She's Ice Punch. Should be able to take it down anyway, and even if it uses a Fighting Type move, it's going to get resisted. Normal Type moves will not, but the Fighting Types would. Oh, there's a Ground Ball. Oh, actually, I should probably shouldn't have done that, but... Regardless, I'm not actually going to go for Submission here. I'm going to go for Strength, just to see what it's going to do, and then I'll go for Submission. <laughs> That's if it isn't a 2 hit KO, of course. Which it could be. Uh, just about. It's biting, so I will actually go for Submission, actually. Ah, my nose is really itchy, and it's really annoying. Just because that 
damage was a little iffy. I didn't really want to see Joe go down to it. Two more Pokemon. Oh, one, one more Pokemon. And a Victory Bell. Very nice. Okay, well, who hasn't seen any action? So, uh, Orion, rather. You haven't seen any action yet in this battle. And this is our first uh, sighting of a Victory Bell, so that's kind of interesting. That's a, that's a good, respectable Pokemon to end with. I'll give you some credit there, Chicken, you know. And hey, you had a Lantern. So very, very nice. Sweet scent. Well, I guess that's a little less respectable. But it's going to go down either way. I'd like to use a Victory Bell. But I don't have any of that evolutionary life. I couldn't win. I gave it everything I had. What you possess and what I lack. I'm beginning to understand what that Dragon Master said to me. Ooh. I haven't given up on becoming the greatest trainer. I'm going to find out why I can't win and become stronger. When I do, I will challenge you. And I'll beat you down with all my power. Huh. You keep at it until then. You, you do realise that the way out was like literally above your head. These people, they don't understand, do they? Well, awesome. So here we are. Pokemon League. If we did ever need to go ahead and go back to Johto, which we don't, um, we could always use that man who's just to our left there, and he would teleport us to Nubok Town, I think. But here we are. The Pokemon League. Let's go ahead and stock up on some items. Let's buy some more Hyper Potions. Because these are going to be very valuable. I'll also buy a couple of full restores as well. Yeah, that's what I will do. And some full heals. That will do. And then I think we'll also buy some extra pels as well. Because we don't have any right now. Oh, I can't even. Fine. Well, I don't need them at this current moment in time. But I will need them in the future. Right. So, our team is looking pretty good. Level 39 is a little low though. So, it's a little low. I probably should do some more training because they're going to struggle with like Lance's level 50. Whatever it may be. Um, even starts out with level 40. So, I'm going to probably have some trouble if I don't do some training. I probably should get everyone to level kind of... So the problem is that there aren't very good Pokemon in Victory Road. Wasn't anything that great either on Route 26. Oh god. Okay, well whatever. We're going to end off the episode off here, but I'm not really sure how I'm going to do the training. We'll kind of see how that goes. I kind of will just group it all into one episode. This is not a good time, Tully. Um, but either way, um, I hope you enjoy this episode. It's obviously a bit of a long one, which I apologise for, but... I'll be doing some training, so you'll see an, a separate episode for all the training, and then we're going to come back, and we're going to be taking down the Elite Four, and hopefully we don't die. <laughs> um, I'm probably going to get everyone to level 42, because I think that's going to be a good level. I think that's going to be a good, respectable de level. Um, so we'll have to just kind of see how things go. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for watching. The next time you see me, I will have some very fancy level 42 Pokemon, and our team will be nice and ready for the Elite Four. But until then, I'll see all of you guys very, very soon. Have a good one.